Hey YouTube, just making a quick video about uh, my new hobby. Um, let me see how I can show you this. Let's see, I'll take this with one hand. Probably try not to drop it. Anyway, coin roll hunting. I know a lot of you guys have seen a bunch of videos on it. And just want to give another uh, testimonial about it does work and there is stuff out there. Um, there is the box I went through today. It, I know it's a nickel box, but um, I went through two boxes of uh, nickels, and I found this. This is all uh, 1960 and prior, and that's what I'm focusing towards on uh, nickels. Uh, maybe you never know; they'll be worth something one day. And there's there's a lot more here. I just haven't gotten a chance to organize it. Um, 42, 46. Uh, Oldest one I've gotten is 1930, 31, I believe. I haven't checked the book on them. These aren't uh, MSs or XF, I would say, very fine. And I went through about 200 bucks worth of nickels today. I handed in my old nickels. I'm keeping about two boxes of nickels on hand if the price of copper goes up. I don't know if they'll be able to melt them. I don't know what will be the case when copper and nickel do go up. Um, I can only see if they stop circulating copper nickels that maybe the public will be able to melt them or, you know, trade them around for more than what a nickel's worth. So I went through these and I was able to get, I actually already sold the two dimes that I uh, found in the box, but... Uh, let me see if I have an example here. I don't, because I sold all my Roosevelt's to a customer. Um, and I kept the uh, Mercury Dimes. Pete, I have a, you know, some of my customers, they give me a hard time about some of the Mercury Dimes and maybe Barber Headquarters, because there is less silver content. I understand that there's less. But for me, honestly, I like Mercury Dimes the best. It's a nice coin. And I think that there will be less and less of them, and I think they'll probably be worth more than a Franklin um, s silver dime in the future. I think if uh, if numismatic value comes into play, I think it'll be worth more than that. But, so I went through the nickel box, and I found two of these... Um, silver war dimes. These are really cool. I like these a lot. And the thing that I like about them is that I, I think I see them selling for more than just their silver content online. It seems like they're maybe harder to come by because they only did it for a couple years. And um, I, I enjoy collecting them now. My Probably one of my goals is to get maybe an MS-65 just to keep on hand, you know, because they're a really beautiful coin. Found one buffalo, no date, obviously. That's how they all come, basically. Um, so I went through 200 bucks worth, and I want to give you guys a heads up. I'm not sure if I'm the only coin roll hunting person now in my area. You know, we're, we're about two hours from New York City, suburbs, and uh, they, about 150 bucks, 15, is it 15 rolls? I don't know. 150 bucks of rolls came like this, like someone else had gone through them. I thought to myself, crap, somebody else is doing coin roll hunting, and these are all gone through, and there's no coin. And I was surprised to find two silver dimes in that. And what I'm guessing is that local businesses, maybe, are you know having someone roll these up and handing them in, because at my local uh, Chase, they don't have a scale, they don't have a coin counter, it just amazes me that they don't care because a lot of those rolls were shorted. Some of them, one of them was shorted 50 cents. One of them was shorted 20 cents, 10 cents here and there. One of them, some of them are over 10 cents. So all in all, I think I took a loss of about maybe, let's just say 30 cents total um, by replacing those when I bring them back to the bank. But uh, I got two silver dimes out of it, a 61 and a 64. And um, I'm happy with the results. You know, it wasn't a full box. 
and um, I got two silver dimes out of it. I'm hoping to go back and maybe try the half dollars, but um, I just want to know what else is, if anyone else is getting good results. Uh, maybe they're finding more than two. I think two is probably the max. I've seen one guy on YouTube that got a whole bunch of silver out of um, half dollar rolls, clad and also uh, 90 percent. Um, I usually keep a lot of the silver dimes and quarters that I do have, but I have a couple customers that, you know, they ask me every once in a while, I sell it to them. Um, but uh, I do have a decent collection now. I don't, you know, for myself, I don't, I just started probably in January holding stuff for myself. I've been in this business probably for about a year and a half, but holding stuff for myself, I never really did that. I always used to just, you know, buy it and sell it. And now I have a nice stash at home, um, reading the charts, seeing how silver was at its height. Now it's starting to do its little, you know, it's trying to get up there. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell if we hit that 40 mark again or 45 or 48. You know, what I've noticed from reading stocks and certain things, you can see that once something turns over, it's done. So I keep thinking to myself, like, if it starts to turn over at 40, 45, am I going to sell? And I'm not sure I know the answer to that because, yes, it's a long-term investment, silver and gold. And I think to myself, I don't know. I mean, this could be a metal and that in the future it could be worth way more. But if it hits that 45 again, what's the chances of it going back down to 25 again? I mean, it did it once or twice already. I mean, three times, can we see that? I mean, it would be great. I would love that if it goes up to 45 and I was some profit and I knew that it was going to go down. I would love to get rid of everything and then wait for it to go back down and just stock up again. That would that's my dream. You can stock up double basically the next time. So just um wanna show you guys some other silver stuff that I've got that I just started um coming around. I never really took in the silver Canadian. I just started now. I kinda like them. They're pretty nice. Um and I've got some random silvers here. Uh let's see here. This one's got uh, the swastika on it. Interesting coin. I don't I think it's 80% silver, somewhere around there. Um, I've got this really weird coin. I have no idea what it is, and if any of you guys know what it is, please let me know. I'm not sure what kind of writing that is. I don't know if it's some sort of Arabic mixed with like, uh, or if it's some sort of Chinese. Or a, some, some Asian or Middle Eastern country, it seems like. It's got some stars around it. And there's this side. Just some sort of design. I'm not sure what this is. And I can't find anything on it. Um, you know, these are pretty common. I've seen them around. The two and a half guilds or whatever they call it. This is common too. This is, I think, 25 uh, francs or pence? Uh, shillings, sorry. Uh, let's see here. I don't know, from looking at all these coins, I think the US coins really are the best looking coins. I can't really see myself collecting anything else. I've gotten lucky once and had a some Russian or Polish coin that I actually ended up selling for maybe 200 bucks. Um, and for my stash of eagles at home, I, th I think I'm going to start getting rid of some of the, I have some lunar coins and, you know, I can get like three eagles instead of having that one lunar. So I might do that or maybe just get two pandas with it. But, um, yeah, that's it guys. I will update you guys again. Have any questions, let me know. And definitely want to hear from other stories from your coin roll hunting and what you prefer to get from the banks and how your banks if they're giving you any problems, and if um, how they take the the cash the coins back, because there's probably money to be made there by skimming the system, but um, that's not for me. All right, guys, take care.